Hello, this is uh, me continuing on with our Flow Lab video talking about our um, basic platform again. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to add in uh, an objective to help you find something to do. Uh -huh. So, to jump in, what we're going to do is we're going to make a key to start with. I'm just going to put this in this top corner here. Now, if I go into browse, should be under objects. I think there is a key somewhere. There it is. Okay. So there's a key. Now what I can do is what I want to do is I want the character to get up there. And once they collide with the key, I then want it to open a door to the next level. Okay. Whoops. I don't know why I went in there. I'm trying to go into here. Um, I think it's, is it town? Um, I can't remember where the door is. Maybe this is the wrong one. Not town. Maybe it's objects. No, it's not objects. Um, you could do a treasure chest, for example, as well, and it work very similarly. You could even do these on-off levers. Um, maybe just blocks. There we go. There's, there we go. So we can pick a door. Maybe we'll go a, a wooden door. Probably fits our aesthetic a bit better. But you pick whatever you want. Now I'm also going to include an animation for this door while we're here. It's going to be called open. And all I want this to do is to change from this one to this one. All right. So it's just going to. Well, it's only going to open once. But I figured I'd do that now, and it saves me a little bit of time later. So it's going to start closed and then when we collide it's going to trigger the animation and stay on the last frame to show that it's open and then we'll make sure that it works. Now to get this to work we want to go into our key and call it key. We're also going to go into the physics and we're going to say that it is not solid. However, we want collisions to be on. Okay. Um, and we might make it a polygon, uh, which so for context, circles are circle, rectangles, rectangle, capsule, sort of like a pill and polygon fits the sprite as best as it can. Okay. Um, so we want to be able to collide with it, but we don't want to like bounce off it. Basically, that's why I've done that. Uh, so we have all that done. Let's go to behaviors now. And we're going to say we need a collision. We're going to say if the player collides with us, what we want to do is we are going to um, be destroyed. Okay. So if it hits us, we break and that's not good. So let's quickly test this and see what that looks like. Oh. Oh. Should have made this easier for myself. All right. You can see that I've collected the key. Nothing happens to our door yet, but we haven't programmed that. So that's okay. Now what I can do is in here, there are a couple of ways I can go about this, but I like to use the message function. All right. So when I, when the, when the player hits me, I'll change that from any object to play to player. So when the player hits me, I'm going to send the word, um, open and I'm going to send it to a specific object, which I'm yet to name. So give me a second. I haven't named the door yet. Let's try that again. I'm going to send it to a specific door being, sorry, a specific object being the door. I'm going to send the word open. And that might seem a little bit strange, but the way it works is now in the door, we can say that when the open message is received in our mailbox, I'm going to say open. Now these are case sensitive, so you need to make sure that if it's capital O, that it needs to be a capital O. Um, so we need that. We also need a collision because we're going to say that if the player collides with the door, we want to go to the next level. Okay. Um, now right now we don't have a next level, but that's okay. We can um, figure that out. So. If the player hits us, we go to the next level, All right? Meaning that uh, I can get my key. All right. 
I haven't put in the door opening animation yet. Uh, go here, it'll take me to the next level, but there is no next level, so that's okay. All right. Now, I'm going to pause this here. Uh, firstly, I'm just going to make a blank level to be the next level. It can be anything, All right? Um, so that'll just be a blank page that loads, should we have done it right. So now the problem is, when I go to the door, without getting the key, it takes me to the new level still. So I'm going to have to fix that. Which is why I put in that message. So in the door. Now remember if we want to say that something, um, we want to say that a certain function can't work unless something happens, we use a switch. Which means our collision goes into the switch to the go. Our switch is going to be off and our open message will turn the switch on. So now when I go to the door, it still triggers, but the switch keeps it from working. And then once I get up here and I get the key, the switch is now on, which means I can go through the door. Okay. So that's good. Let's go back here. And the last thing we need to do is we need to add in, um, oh, we got to add in our door animation. So that's in here. Uh, that's linked to open also. So once the open message has been sent, we want the animation. Where is it? Here. The animation one to, to play. And now we can go in here and say to stay on the last frame when it's done which means it will stay on the open frame. Alternatively, you could also go and do a, um, you could use a number and say, go to, you know, uh, from number one, we're gonna go to that frame or number two to go to that frame, I should say. So let's have a look at how this looks now, which you won't be able to see because the code is in the way. All right, the door opens. Oh, there is a minor glitch in this with capsule colliders, which make it uh, that you're a little bit slidey if you sort of hit a wall when jumping. So if that bothers you, you can uh, you can fix it by just changing it to a polygon or a circle or something. But anyway, go through the door. Easy. Okay. Um, so that's uh, managing levels. All right. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.